Good morning, Kelsey. Thank you. I'm joined now by Carl Soto and Zandler Chavez, and they're here to talk to us about some really cool makeup tips this Halloween. And Carl, you're a teacher at the public libraries, and yes, you teach kids all of these cool makeup effects that you can actually buy at your local grocery store. Yeah, you could end up purchasing uh, some of the stuff, some of the makeup things uh, that I've used on Zandler right here. Uh -huh. And it, a lot of the stuff is bought in at Smart and Final. A lot of people end up thinking that they have that they have to find this more complex makeup at makeup stores but you know if you, a little ingenuity you can end up figuring things out um, it's a little bit of food coloring to a little bit of nox gelatin and you make this uh, this material this rubbery material right here or you could end up mixing chocolate syrup he's hungry <laughs> a he's bit a zombie of, that's he's a, why <laughs> yeah he hasn't eaten yet yeah so you end up mixing chocolate syrup with a little bit of food coloring and it makes up uh, the blood so you know, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to end up teaching this to kids because and uh, getting them off the video games and into more imaginative uh, uh, stuff that they end up creating with their own minds. Yeah. And it looks so real. I mean, the, it actually looks like blood and the consistency of it all. I mean, it stays for a very long time. Mm -hmm. That's what's amazing about yep. it. And it's and it's all organic material, and best thing is it tastes good too. And that's the thing <laughs> that parents don't have to worry about because a lot of times with paints there may be some lead or other right. chemicals in there, and you don't want your kids ingesting that. So this is a great alternative for Ex parents worried Ex about exactly. things like that. Exactly, and it's it's fun too because the kids get to end up learning about the different consistencies of you know the Nox gelatin ends up turning into a rubbery type of consistency, like a gummy bear. You were telling yeah, me right, yeah, like a gummy bear, and. Um, the chocolate syrup is is thicker. Plus, this you know it's it smells like chocolate and, and it's fun. Very cool. And you brought some props with us that you actually made by hand. Yeah, uh, my company's name is Soto Designs, and I I work with uh, uh, the Oxnard Oddfellows Lodge, and I build props uh, for some high schools and for, for some floats and some different things. I also end up making some masks which is this guy right here. That huge, cool-looking fly right there. Yeah. That is awesome. And this was actually made out of Christmas bulbs, and it was glued onto it glued onto a head that I ended up carving out of foam. Reci all recycled materials. I like using a lot of recycled materials and because it, you know, it's there, it's free, and why not? Why waste? For exactly. Exactly. And you even have a cool Frankenstein. I do have a Frankenstein. I heard today was Frankenstein Friday. Yeah, it's so. National Frankenstein Friday, which is the second Friday, or the last Friday, I'm sorry, of October. So this is perfect right yeah. here. And Frankenstein's actually one of my favorite characters. This would end up going on to the top of a person's head like this and then having their face painted. And that looks so cool. Look yep. at that. That is it's awesome. Nice and it's nice and easy. All recycled materials. All recycled you made by materials. Hand. So that's great that you can teach kids how to do that. So thank you so much for coming on our show. Sure. A lot of great tips for parents this Halloween. Thank you so okay. much for watching and for watching Fox 11. Have a great weekend. We'll see you on Monday. Nothing seems to fit.